Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good evening. It is the 26th of May, Tuesday night. And tonight's devotion is the 64th Psalm. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the throng of evildoers, who wet their tongues like swords, who aim their bitter words like arrows, shooting from ambush at the blameless, shooting at him suddenly and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking, who can see them? They search out in just the same, we have accomplished a diligent search, for the inward mind and heart of a man are deep. But God shoots his arrows at them. They are wounded suddenly. They are brought to ruin with their own tongues turned against them. All who see them will wag their heads. Then all mankind fears. They tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Let the righteous one rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart exalt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever will be. Amen. And our prayer for this evening. Lord, Keeper of Israel, who alone is the true defense of your people, defend your church against the power of persecutors and the delusions of false prophets, convert and make your enemies your friends. And if any will harden their hearts in, in their perverse ways, bring their counsel to naught. Bless your inheritance and cause the world to see that you judge rightly. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. And tonight we continue with our study from Romans, the first chapter. Tonight we look at verses 24 and 25. Therefore God gave them over to the sinful desires of their hearts, to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies one with another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator who is forever praised. Amen. Therefore, God gave them over to the sinful desires of their hearts. God doesn't condone the sinful desires. And other versions talk about that sexual impurity as lusting one for another, same kind for same kind. God desires that their souls be saved. He gives them over so that their bodies may be destroyed, that their souls might be saved. Not to condone what they've done, but that they burn one for another, for they have exchanged the truth of God for a lie. So often today, people will change what sin is. They'll call something that is sin, well, that can't be sin. Those two love each other. It doesn't matter whether it's gender for gender. You must be a hater if you don't consider it love. Well, if you look at Scripture, there's really four or five different types of love. But there's only one special love for a man and a woman. This was what God planned. When He created man and woman, He said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. So that man and woman might raise their children in the ammunition of the Lord. That is the function of marriage. But so many people now will try to distort it. And right here, it's very clear, God gave them over to their sinful desires, that their hearts of impurity, that their bodies might be destroyed, that their souls might be saved. It's a tough lesson. And the sin within us would like to say, well, God doesn't know what he's talking about, or this was dated for a different age or time. But God's word is God's word. God is immutable. He has not changed. His word is not changed, for God is His word, and His word is God. God says what He believes and believes what He says. It is so. Therefore, people worship 
those things that are made by man, including the thoughts and images that are made in the mind of man, rather than worship the true God. My prayers are for you out there if you've suffered this. If you think that it's all right, it's not what God's Word says. We're not haters. We love you enough to tell you the truth. God desires that you listen to His Word, repent of your ways, and know His love for you so much that He sent His only begotten Son so that none should perish but that you might have eternal life. The final part of the verse is, they worship and serve the created things rather than the Creator, who is to be forever praised. Man, when he does what is contrary to God and calls it truth, worships something that is created, even those thoughts that he's created in his own mind, rather than the true God. Our true God desires that we worship Him and in truth and integrity, that is our way of forever praising Him. And may God grant you such wisdom, wisdom granted from above and not below, truth granted from above and not below. For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, so that none should perish, but that all might have eternal life. I pray that God is reaching out to you today and touching you with His Word that you may know his truth, and it may set you free. And that's all for tonight. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen.